Hey, I'm Mickey Rich. Thank you for clicking John Stewart Takes a Bite Out O'Reilly. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, this shit went down bad. This is your language warning. Well, the word shit was your language warning, so if you're at work, I'm sorry. Anyway, John Stewart came out of his corner like an ear-hungry Mike Tyson. Take a look. Look, look, let's go into this, because all I hear on your network is, this guy's, it's tyranny and socialism. That's what he believes. So, how is Barack Obama a socialist? As far as I can see, the majority of the billions of dollars he's given, he's given to banks. Look, so if he's a socialist, he's dyslexic. Because when I you don't, distribute the I wealth, think he's it's supposed socialist. to be going to... But he does believe in a redistribution of income. Well, Barack he's Obama. redistributed to the And that is a banks. socialist tenant. No, he's redistributing he's it. He's going up. He's dyslexic. No. It's supposed to come down. He, look. If you don't, if you don't know that the Obama administration is redistributing income, then I'm going to have to pull your. I people always want to scream, "Oh, it's redistribution of wealth and all this other bullshit." But you know, deregulation and tax cuts are another redistribution of wealth. The only problem is that when that's happening, the people who have it being taken from them, they don't own any goddamn legislators or legislatures. I guess it is legislatures, isn't it? In every state, all over the place. It isn't just legislators. Wow, that was kind of deep. Let's get back. And basically, Stewart starts talking about Fox as an entity. Very subtle uh, propaganda. So you it's all done in questions. I'm not saying Obama's a Stalinist. I'm just putting up Stalin's picture behind me and saying all of his programs. I listen. I grew up in Stunned Jersey. I know what this out, is. Lays out the conservatives too. Please. I know what this is. This is. Uh, uh, I come from Jersey. It's the same thing. I'm not saying your mother's a whore. I'm just saying she has sex for money <laughs> with people. So all the techniques that are go. Here's how I know you are because Fox News has done a 180 on so many integral principles of what you would imagine a news organization to be. Fox News used to be all about, you don't criticize a president during wartime. It's unacceptable, it's treasonous, it, it aid and comfort to the enemy. All of a sudden, for some reason, you can run out there and say Barack Obama is destroying the fabric of this country. But not in the Afghanistan situation. They've absolutely no, said he doesn't here. know what he's doing. You, not here. When you're talking everybody about everybody here has been respectful in that theater and not undermined anything in that's that theater. Absolutely not true. No, they you the went only through the whole was dithering it took thing too long for him to make up the mind to But deploy. that's not the point. The point is any criticism of a president in war time, about anything that's what the network I was about. I Bush all day long. Please. All day long. Here's what Fox has done through their cyclonic, perpetual... We're back to the cyclonic. Their cyclonic, right. perpetual emotion machine. Mm -hmm. That is a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week. They've taken reasonable concerns about this president and this economy and turned it into a full-fledged panic attack about the next coming of Chairman Mao. Here's, here's the, yeah, I, you gotta love that. I, you gotta love the fact the cameraman like laughs back there too, like, <laughs> I mean, if that was a fight, in uh, the end, it's like O'Reilly was like just trying to just like, I don't know if he got up to take a piss or what, but you know, anyway. You could watch more of that on Young, the Young Turks. They've got a little bit bigger story, and I'm sure that you can go on Comedy Central or uh, maybe they got it on Fox. I'm sure uh, 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 somebody's got it someplace. Anyway, my whole thing and uh, take on the whole thing is kind of sad, you know, because, I mean, look at this. You've got people like Jank, Stewart, uh, I mean, you've got talented people, but why are they at the periphery? It's like they're the freaks of journalism, and where the real journalists are people that don't ask questions. They've they've taken this idea that maybe objectivity is not asking any fucking questions. I don't understand this. It's it's just it's just a continuation of the retardation of America, where technology just keeps the idiots alive. I don't know how I get up every day. I said I wasn't going to swear on this one. Sorry. <laughs>